your name, how many years you have gone to CTY, what class you take, and what site and session you're at, and what position you hold. Um, My name's Ankita Sampathi. Hi, <laughs> Black. Um, this is my fourth and last year at Lancaster, uh, session one, but before that I went to session one of Chestertown for BBC TY once, and um, I, I was a Blamo God this year. Uh, my name is Zoe, and this is my fourth and final year here also. I've been going to session one all four years, and then I went to BBC TY at Chestertown, second session year, so we didn't meet until our first year at Lancaster. And I am the sun this year, or the kind one recently changed. So. What is your favorite CTY tradition? Definitely canon. Yeah, I mean I like all the traditions a lot, but canon is just like my favorite one. Mine too. All the canon songs just bring like a sense of unity to the place and ties us all together. What is your favorite CTY activity? We have the same answer for this Yeah, one. I think we have the same answer for everything. <laughs> We're the same person, so AI. <laughs> yeah. I don't really, I mean like, we don't really participate in, the, in it that much, but, but I went in for my first time. Uh -huh. It's really funny. I think I've been in like twice, but it's just really funny to watch it and stuff. Yeah. What is your favorite canon song and why? My favorite lower canon is Olamore, and then my favorite upper canon, I think it's probably like a tie between like Bright Side and Night Swimming. I like those two a lot. And Bright Side is just like, I don't know, I don't really have a why for these, but I just like them both. Bright Side literally gets everyone so pumped for anything. Um, my favorite lower canon is either Birdhouse to Your Soul, To Knock To Knock Time, that's a Oh yeah, really I should have said that one too, I like that um, one too. And um, I also really like Bizarre Love Triangle. And then favorite upper canon would probably be Mr. Brightside. Alright, what is Blamo? Yep. Okay, I guess I'll one. take this one. It's a really creepy game. Um, no, Blamo is basically like assassins. Um, so basically everyone gets that place, gets assigned a target and a stalker and you carry a spoon around and whenever your target doesn't have their spoon you blammo them and then they're out. So it's basically like assassins with spoons and it's really fun because people go hard here. Why 42? Um, the answer. I think it's like, I think it's something that would definitely be helpful to squirrels and stuff like that. I know we had like the guide um, a couple, or well, last year, but then that didn't really happen this year. I think it's just something that it's people. A long-standing tradition, nice like, yeah. not just like a nice people fan, just, like, fan find love out here. what it's about and stuff like that. We do like that Hitchhiker's Guide, the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What will you miss the most about CTY? <sighs> um. Definitely the people. Wait, I think I misunderstood the last question. I need to justify my answer for a second here. When you said Y42, I thought you meant like this project, because isn't this project named like this oh. movie project? Oh, no, that was just a general question. Oh, awkward. Okay, well, our answer's out of that one. Yeah, she was talking about like the 42 tradition, and I was talking about like the, the oh, thing that you're it doing. It works. It works either way, really. Okay, well, okay. Maybe we'll try that again. What will you miss the most about CTY? Definitely the people. I mean, like, there there will be reunions and stuff, and that will be <laughs> there will be reunions, and that will be nice. But like, it's it, like we're not all gonna be like in one place again and all that. Oh, American Pie, and there, yeah. we're all in one place. Yeah, it's not gonna happen like that again. So that's what I'll miss. I've been here 12 weeks with some of my best friends in the whole entire world, and it's like really hard to think that this is the last time you're gonna consistently see them. But a lot of bonds over the past four years. Right. What are the types of fandoms one may find at CTY? There are a lot of homestucks. A lot. I'm not much of a fandom girl, so I can't really I mean, you have like my answer out of this ones one. like Harry Potter and Doctor Who and all them. But they're just a lot. I don't know what homestuck is. I don't understand it. I, I went on the website, I tried to figure it out. I'm like, what is this? I can't I figure really it out. I don't really understand it. I, I like a lot of the BBC deal. fandoms. I like Sherlock. I like Merlin. That's all I got. <laughs> I don't like the word fandom that much. Alright. Is there a life after CCY? Yes. I mean, 
maybe in the past there hasn't been so much for me. Okay, well not that I didn't have a life outside of C2I, but I was always like, like I literally always spent the whole year waiting to come back to here, but like now that I'm leaving for the last time in five days, like life will go on. It's sad, but we'll oh, wow. like, we've had a great time. Yeah, there's definitely life outside of C2Y. I love being here, but you're healthy to have relationships with back there. I love being here, but it's healthy to have relationships back at home too. And I've learned so much. You can just be grateful that I got to spend these four years here. Yeah. <laughs> I sound like a man. Why duct tape? I, I don't have an answer for that. I do. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It, if I was stranded on an island, I would choose duct tape. Be over, besides like food and vital things for survival, duct tape. You can make clothing, you can make shelter. Duct tape is useful. I don't really understand the whole duct tape thing, but I do have four rolls of duct tape in my room. One of them has mustaches on them. So. How has CTY affected your everyday life? I think for me, I think it was a confidence thing. Like between, I guess it's kind of a cliche answer, but between like when I first came here, um, and and then like my life in recent years, I think it was definitely like just a confidence thing. And then you just like it helps you make more friends at home too, and just like be okay with who you are and stuff like that. It's given me my best friends in the whole entire world, so I thought it was really interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I should send that. Alright. What is a nerd? Us. People that are willing to spend seven hours in class a day over their summer vacation. Hey, 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 hey! Ooh! Snipe! That's not what I consider a nerd. You know, right. someone who bumps into trees while reading books. <laughs> What about CTY makes it an open community? Yeah, I know. It's not, it's not uh, um, I don't really understand how you can get so many people and have everyone get along so well and be so opening, open and accepting, but there's just something magical about this community that's really opening. Open. I can't yeah. speak. It's just like, it's just, <laughs> I mean, I can't even explain it other than it's like very uniquely like CTY, like okay, everyone comes here because they got like a, what, like a fifteen hundred on the SAT in seventh grade. So you get that, and then you get here, and then it's just like magical. I yeah, everyone just loves everyone. All right, so these are more position centric questions for you, Ankita. Um, so as Blamagawa, what exactly is your job, really? <laughs> well, basically, we have two Blamo games. So the other Blamo God, Alex, runs a game and I run a game, which will merge them tomorrow, actually. And I have to sign people up, uh, have spoons on me at all times to give out to people that need them, and make the target list and manage those lists. So like write down whenever someone gets a kill and stuff like that, and assign new targets. And that's pretty much what I do. I just run the game, make sure it goes smoothly. What is your favorite Blamo story that you've heard from one of the people in your game? So, wait, <laughs> she left, okay. One of the, one of the RAs, Dijon, he goes so hard. Like he is already on like his eighth target and when his, first, his first kill was another RA and then he teamed up with that RA to trick a kid into thinking that he got out from Blamo, but he actually wasn't out and then thought he was out, he didn't have a spoon, and John got him out for real, which is a really sneaky, mean way of doing it, but I think it's hilarious. So that's probably my favorite kill story. What was the most interesting Blamo that you were involved in? Um, last year, when Egon and Bob were Blamo gods, they trolled it a lot, and they pretty much had my whole Astro class in our hall stalking each other. So that was pretty funny. All right. I I th you can come back now. Any questions for me? Yeah. Come over here, so so. so weird. Okay. I don't, I don't know much about the the sun position, so I'm just gonna wing it here. So, is, is there anything specific you basically do as the sun slash the uh, what was it? Kind one. The kind one. Um. Yeah. So a couple years ago, there was the Trinity that was created and was recently changed to gotten rid of the Trinity and. Um, so I'm the sign, or recently changed to the kind one, 
and it's just my job to like make friends with everyone and make sure that everyone's having a really good time here and taking out as much as they can from this wonderful place. Alright, I think that wraps it up.